buddy. Hi, Rhett. Peekaboo. Yes, Susan, the online shop is always open. But Danielle and I will be slower to respond. Because we occasionally take a nap and or spend time with our families on the weekends. Well, our new, our new weekends. We didn't used to do that. Good morning. Ooh, flight practice. Good job. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. You're so pretty and handsome. Thanks for joining us for Flamingo Friday. Oh, wow. That bench is wet. Wow. Brett, I brought you a toy. Look. These two can't really fly because their wings were clipped when they were born before we adopted them. But they have fun running across the pond, spreading their wings. No, they don't ever attack. Hi. <laughs> oh, you're so curious. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. It's Flamingo Friday. It's Scarlet. What are you looking at, buddy? Good morning, Cincinnati. Hi, Quebec. 
Merci. What are you doing? Hi. Good morning, Indiana. Hi, Scarlett. You're so sweet. Scarlet, that's beautiful. Brett, look, I brought you some hair. You wanna play? No, they don't like to be touched, but they like to touch you. Let's walk over here. Oh, hi, Grace. Hi. You wanna play, Rhett? You wanna play? You don't know what it is, do you? I'll leave it right there for you to play with. If you want to. Thank you, Raven. We appreciate it. They haven't had babies yet, but maybe someday. Rhett is five feet tall and Scarlett's about four six. I don't know why they like hair, but they always have. They like to brush it. Good morning, Egypt. Thanks for joining us. Hi, New Jersey. We wish you were here too. There's those ducks. Yes, uh, Rhett is a lot. He's six inches taller than Scarlett. Yes, we only have the two. They don't seem to ever get a sore neck. Hi, Colorado. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us for Flamingo Friday. You guys can always have Flamingo whatever day of the week at keywestbutterfly.com. We have the online gift store with all Flamingo and Butterfly and nature, everything. And we have the 24-hour live webcam so you guys can watch the pond and Rhett and Scarlet all the time. I had the water dish out yesterday and they couldn't care less about it. So I didn't drag it over here with me this morning. We don't know, Todd. They told us yesterday, I don't know. I can't tell what day of the week it is. Wow, look at this. I'll come back to that story. Look at that butterfly. Wow. Hi. Rest for a second so everyone can see how beautiful you are. He must have just emerged. He's in great shape. Wow. Butterfly. 
they do make their life. Yes. They're talking. Yeah, I know. I, just, I know. I was paying attention to that butterfly. How dare I? It's really pretty. So they told us yesterday or the day before that the keys will be the last to open after. Oh, look, Maurice came down to say hi. He's startled, Scarlett. Hi, Maurice. No, they're usually about the same height. We just got lucky with these two. It's super easy to tell them apart. Oh, and Andorra! Hi! You guys want some grapes, huh? No, we don't sell those, but they are available from Fancy Home Products. If you just Google Fancy Home Products birdhouses, you'll get them. We don't sell them just because they're crazy expensive. And we retrofit ours. They come with a center in the middle that's for actual bird feeding, but we take all that apart it, so we can put fruit and food dishes in there. And Dora, you want a grape, huh? Oh, look! Maurice is eating the sprinkles off the banana. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us for Flamingo Friday. We're a little distracted just because both Andorra and Maurice came down. You guys can all keep in touch with us at keywestbutterfly.com. We have the 24-hour live webcam and we have an online gift shop and shipping department that's still up and running. We have lots of flamingo everything. You guys want to get some grapes for Maurice? Yeah? Help me feed Maurice and Andorra. Getting a little off topic from Flamingo Friday. You can help me. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. There we go, little lady. Come here, Scarlet. I don't want to upset your adoring fans, and it is Flamingo Friday. But this little lady is so cute, I can't help but feed her. Look at that, she'll carefully choose the grape. She prefers grapes over blueberries. Here you go. I'm good, Kimberly. Thank you all for being here with us for Flamingo Friday. I'll get back on task. I just love it when these two come down to say hi. Here's our board that's hard to read. Butterfly Farmer Relief Fund, qsbutterfly.com. We're all trying to... Hi, Bridget. Good morning. We're all trying to raise money to keep the farmers going. We also have a fund up for Feed Rhett and Scarlet. They are, Candace. We had a six month long naming competition and Rhett and Scarlet from Gone with the Wind won. Cindy, those, um, the green one is a white cheeked African green Taraco. Hi buddy. You're so tall. Wow. They're white cheeked African green Taracos. Jessica, I have been doing this forever. I just usually do it earlier in the morning. I do it from eight to nine when we're open to the public. So I'm not back here in people's way when they're trying to enjoy the garden. You wanna see the doll? Who doesn't like the doll? He typically loves blondes. He's not a fan of that doll. Where are you going?
No, Linda, because they grew up. <laughs> you can't tell them apart from all the other quail. Now. Yeah, that's right, Phoebe. Hi. Hi, Scarlett. Thank you. That was a nice hug. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> that's awesome. Have a great day, Bridget. over here giving me lots of hugs. It's really hard to capture a hug when you're that close. Nobody can see. They do mate for life. Oh, I guess he doesn't like mermaids. so funny how friendly the ducks have gotten. They keep coming over, wanting attention. Hi, Michigan. Happy birthday, Karen Green. <laughs> Good morning, London. What do you guys wanna do? We're just pacing. Not that entertaining. Let's go see other butterflies or birds or something. Bet you have sand on your beak. They definitely miss the people, Rita, for sure. We're all slowly but surely adapting. But wow, the first few days was pretty rough going. We were not happy flamingos. You wanna come, Scarlet? Yeah, let's go for a walk. Come on. Yeah. Hi, Connecticut. Good morning. Come on. I can't, I can't walk backwards because there's ducks in the path. rub up on you with all their body. There they come. Show us how you stride. Walk the catwalk. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, baby cakes. Hi, Scarlett. I hear them. I hear them. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us for Flamingo Friday. You guys can stay in touch with us and maybe buy something from our gift shop at keywestbutterfly.com or help us raise money for the butterfly farmers of the world at keywestbutterfly.com. Open to the public, they usually stay, they do stay in their pond area. They come out and walk around and hang out with people after hours. We call it the flamingo. It's an after hours flamingo encounter from 4.30 to 6 p.m. every day. 
<gülüyor> Güzelmiş. They do like to stand in the rain. They like to bathe in the rain too. Yay, Phoebe, thank you. We appreciate it. Everyone has been so awesome with buying stuff from our gift shop online and donating to our butterfly fund, keeping us company here. That's right, Lisa, thank you. KeyWestButterfly.com. <laughs> Getting all perfect. Every feather has to have a perfect place. Yeah. They are emotional. They get cranky. They got really, really cranky. Rhett got downright angry the first few days when we didn't have any visitors. Yeah, my buddy. You're still checking it. You're still checking her out, huh? You want me to hide the mermaid? They do sleep standing up in the very center of their pond. Yay, Patty, thank you. We appreciate it. Glad it got there. Good. Take a bow. Can I take a bow? Wow, good job. Your turn, Scarlet. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Even when we're not live, you can always find us at keywestbutterfly.com. We have the 24-hour live webcam and an online gift shop and shipping department that's still up and running. Typically, um, Rhett is more vocal, but since we've been closed, they've both been equally wanting attention. And she's been talking more and more. They do sometimes lay down. They, if you really want to see them laying down, look at the video from a couple days ago. They spent a lot of time just sitting down. Rhett sat down here in the gazebo, and then they both went into the pond and sat down where they took a bath. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Aw. No, Danielle, you can't pet them, but they can pet you if you do the after hours encounter with them. Or you just sit here on the gazebo and they come up and rub on you or brush your hair, put on this show just for you. Just 
Just two flamingos live here. Just these two. Brett and Scarlett. Deborah, it's keywestbutterfly.com. Good morning, Annette and Peanut. Scarlett hasn't seen the mermaid doll, but if Rhett doesn't like it, she won't like it. Hi. How are you doing? You wanna come sit? Sweet rat. Kathy, whenever you have plans to be in Key West, you just email me at info at keywestbutterfly.com and I check the schedule and let you know about availability. Before the world went wacky, we had a we were booked a year out with about twelve people on the wait list for every day. But now there's plenty of availability. So whenever we are reopen again, we'll have seats available. Everybody that, well not everybody, but most everybody that couldn't come in March and April have rebooked already for that time next year or October and November. Scarlett hasn't paid any attention to the mermaid yet. Got their color. Wow. If you want to know what they look like, go back just a couple days ago. I posted their baby pictures for everybody to see. Wow, that is impressive. Good job. So, plants that are best for attracting butterflies would be any plant that has a lot of blooming flowers that has nectar. Pentas are really easy. Lantana is good. Porterweed is good. Fire spike is good. If you live in an area that's not too humid, butterfly bush is good. They are very social. I don't know, Tracy. I have spent quite a bit of time worrying about that, but I, I don't know. We didn't think they would do be so angry when they didn't have people so now we don't really know what to expect when I'm done here Carrie you can rewind it it was a non-event I brought a doll a mermaid doll with long hair because they love to brush hair but apparently brushing a doll's hair is not as satisfying as a real person they're eight now they turned eight on Valentine's Day Yeah, I see you. A maximum of six per day, Susan. The way it works is after everyone leaves for the day, we have six people. It's six because that's how many will fit here in the gazebo. And Rhett and Scarlett are creatures of habit, like us all. And they don't like it if people are taller than them. So you have to stay seated here on the bench. 
and then they come out of their pond which is right there i open the gate and they come walking along over here they come through this entryway and then they spend 45 minutes to an hour doing what they wish with you sometimes it's brushing hair sometimes it's trying to climb up on you sometimes it's doing their really pretty dance sometimes it's doing a water dance Flamingos live about 60 years in captivity, 45 years out in the wild. No, Cindy, since we can only have a couple people in the building at a time, we have had to take shifts. And they're fine with coming out and just being with a few people because they're used to a maximum of six. But what they're used to doing their performance all day long in their pond, and we have this time of year, we usually have about a thousand guests a day just walking through. I didn't do anything to the sound. So they've been missing all of the new voices. I don't know how to change the sound. I didn't do anything. I'm sorry. I'll unplug from my battery. Maybe that'll help. I blame the internet, Jill. It's about that time of day. I have my hand on the side of the phone. Getting any better now? Oh, good. Okay. Thank you, Jennifer. I didn't do anything different. Good. Thank you, Pam. Lori, just pretend it's a silent movie. Facebook gave me back the ability to respond to comments in writing now. Oh, I'll put subtitles up later. These are Rhett and Scarlet. This is their pond. This is the webcam. We need all your dollars. Go to keywestbutterfly.com and buy stuff. It's either the internet or the insurance company. They're to blame for everything. Where are you going? Hi! I'm gonna take the shortcut. I'm gonna see you. We do have quail. We have a lot of quail. When we're done here, you should go back and watch the video from last night. The live from the end of the day yesterday. There was lots of quail starring in that show. No, Jennifer, it's not good for them to pet them. They excrete an oil from their neck. See the little roughed up part on the back of their neck? That's where their oil glands are, right there. And they excrete an oil that they spend all day rubbing on their feathers to make them waterproof. And if we pet them, then that oil will come off on us. They were looking for more interesting people. We have one other employee in the building and he's here in the office. I have never heard them snore. I don't think they do. Where are you going? Come on. Let's go walking around. I see a beautiful blue butterfly over here. Paula, under normal conditions, we have six people back here that take care of the plants. Right now we have one person coming in doing the watering and then our horticulturist is coming in in the afternoons and evenings doing the pruning and such. Sarah, it's keywestbutterfly.com. Thank you, Kay, we appreciate it.
If you have travel plans now, you can email me your dates and I will get you on a calendar. Rhett is five foot and Scarlet is four six. Danielle, we have 38 employees. Well, we had 38 employees and we will have 38 employees, we hope. Right now we have um, two employees and four volunteers, none of which are all here at the same time. Look at this guy, this beautiful owl. Yes, Pamela, it's only after hours that you need the reservation. Otherwise, it's just general admission. We walk in and we're open. Thank you, Evelyn. Awesome, thank you. Where are you going? Come on! Walk it, walk it, walk it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They do mostly stay together, yes. Info at keywestbutterfly.com is my email. I think it is. It's definitely some kind of orchid. Potato, potato, I don't know. Tracy's not here, I can't verify with her. There are lots of quail. They are still stopping people, yes. Yes, Connie, it's only the after hours part, the 4.30 to 6 after we close. It's for a maximum of six people that you have to book in advance. The rest of it is general admission. You can come and go throughout the day, buy your ticket online or in person. And it's an all day ticket. No, Rhett and Scarlet haven't had kids yet. The little white thing was a Chinese button quail. I'm the mysterious Facebook lady. When we're open to the public, the flamingos are in their pond. They don't walk around out here on the paths when we're open. It would be dangerous. I don't know, Beth. We're waiting for um, guidelines. We'll see. Yes, Sherry, we have done a bunch. Go back when I'm almost done here. Go back and look at the lives. We've done several plant classes with Tracy. The flamingos are always here. They're, they live here. They're always visible. They're easy to view. There's no, oh, look at that. Look at that bird. Look, it has a pink feather. It stole a pink feather to make its nest with. Oh, he's having a hard time flying. It came in the pond here and got a small little feather while we were over there. So the flamingos are always here. They're always present. There's no walls or anything, so you can always see them. That's part of general admission. But if you want them to come out of the pond and come over here and hang out with you on the bench, that's the after hours part. No, Connie, only after hours. Because we typically have between 500 and 1,000 people 
visiting the garden every day. It would not be safe to have them out and about roaming around with people on the paths. Yeah, Eric, there's a lot. We've done several classes with Tracy. And then I've posted the stuff that um, she said. I wrote down all the names of the plants and everything for reference. Yeah, I've always done the lives. I just always do them earlier in the day before we open. So I'm out of the way when people visit the garden. So I usually do them between eight and 9 a.m. But now that there's nobody here for me to be interrupting, I do them several times throughout the day. We feed the flamingos Flamingo Complete. It's a pelleted form of shrimp and vitamins and minerals called Flamingo Complete from Missouri Foods. I had to move over here because the gardeners are, the gardener, the horticulturist is now working over there on path four. So I'm in isolation over here for a little bit. zebra long wing on the crown of thorns yes they have adjusted to the new normal they're getting more and more calm by the day yes the blue boar butterfly is a blue morpho the one with black around the outside of the blue is called a morpho pallades yeah, Pam, the, I posted the baby pictures a couple days ago. Yes, that's they get the shrimp coloring from the Flamingo Complete. Yes, it does, Dawn. And a couple years ago, we had baby ducks, and Rhett decided that baby duck food tasted better than flamingo food. And it took him about three weeks before he lost all of his color and he was white again. Yes, the keys are still on lockdown. And everybody's being careful, but I do think that we have more essential businesses than other places. My mother-in-law was telling a story about people getting in big trouble for buying potting soil at Menards when they went to buy milk. Here we have Home Depot and all of our little places are still open so we can get soil and plants and keep ourselves busy in our yards as long as we wear a mask to go to those places. They, Tracy, if they don't have shrimp, they get, they turn white. White is the color that, the name given to the color, but it's not a particularly pretty white. It's kind of a dirty, gross white. The small birds with the turquoise. I think you mean the paradise tanager. Hi, Missouri. That would be amazing to see flamingos in the wild. We had a mating pair in Key West that lived here on our Navy base for years and years. Everybody knew they were there. And then one day, some colonel, somebody, somebody came in and he saw them and reported it to the upper ups and they came in and relocated them. They said they were not a non-native species, which is ridiculous. But. Hi, 
I heard that, Connie. Everybody's in a hurry and we totally get that. The gorgeous bird feeder, the dragonfly one. Yes, the, yes we do, on the gift shop, in the gift shop, keywestbutterfly.com. all for watching and keep watching at keywestbutterfly.com we have the webcam we have the online gift store yes Kristen we do have it on there yes that is the paradise tanager wow everybody's getting excited now new people come in it's now two whole other people in the garden wow Yes, the butterflies do land on people if they so choose. get out so the gardeners can do their thing. I'll be back a little bit later as soon as they leave. Have a great day. See you soon.